Oh, there you are, YouTube. Just dropping off some mail for my wife um, and myself. We just got some stuff we have to mail out. Uh, no contact with anybody doing this. Um, so still doing the whole social distancing thing. Today is Monday, though, so last week, like I said, I had work off, and while work was off, sort of uh, the goal of that week was to uh, sort of prep ourselves for working online this week. So it wasn't necessarily like work was canceled. We were just prepping for online work from who knows when. Um, and or from till who, till who knows when uh, so yeah today is the first day of working at home so far it's been going pretty smooth just sort of um, you know emails things like that keeping in touch with people um, pe keeping people abreast of what's going on um, but yeah it's it's been pretty simple uh, so far it's not uh, a major adjustment yet uh, other than just having kids and them sort of, um, you know, being in the background of everything I'm doing, you know, hearing them in the background. There's not a lot of a silence. It, it is, it can be a little different um, working while hearing babies crying uh, in the background. Wow, a lot of people out here wearing masks on their face, which I guess makes sense. All right, gonna put this mail up real quick. Can I multitask? Can I? No, I don't think I can. Um, anyway, yeah, working from home now. I do have like one thing. I was just playing with my kids and we're, we, they have these Disney princess uh, figures and you know, kind of going through the names with them, teaching them who they are, getting them familiar, indoctrinating them into uh, Disney culture. And what did, so this is a question for you, what did you use? How, what did you call Sleeping Beauty Aurora with your kids when they were first learning the Disney characters? Did you call her Sleeping Beauty? Did you call her Aurora? I'm just not really sure what to do. I always grew up calling her Sleeping Beauty. I don't even know if I knew her name was Aurora until, I don't know, maybe I was in high school or something. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of going back and forth on what to call this person, what to teach them uh, her name is. Because um, I don't want to flip back and forth. I don't know, maybe it's fine. I don't, maybe they won't get confused. I don't really know. But um, yeah, so just curious. What do you call her? Sleeping Beauty or Aurora? But yeah, on my way back home, um, I'm sure I'll have various things to show throughout the day. Maybe not, I don't know, may just be working all day. Um, in which case, I'll just come back to uh, other topics, maybe questions for you. Um, who knows, I don't know. I don't know where this day is gonna go, who knows? Tis not the season at all, but Elizabeth made some pumpkin bread um, got the recipe from Smitten Kitchen. They had mentioned while not fall, you may have some, uh, a can of pumpkin left over in your pantry. And since we all have to stay inside, might as well use it. And that's what we did. So I'm excited to eat it. I'm actually going to use it as a side with my chili. And I think I'm going to... You know how you have like bread and peanut butter and pickles on the side? I think I'm gonna do that same thing, but with pumpkin bread. Hot, steamy chili right out the microwave. Pretty liquidous. I think we got all the chunky stuff uh, previous days. She's making pasta for herself. How thick? Yeah, that, that's good. Perfect. And pregnant bunny's back. Doesn't look as big. Maybe she had those babies. Will pumpkin bread dipped in chili be any good? 
Again, I like peanut butter pickle sandwiches with chili. I think I love, more than that, cornbread and chili. So this is a new experience. Ooh, there we go. Much better light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that, but I like everything, so I'm a terrible judge. I keep forgetting that I'm not supposed to be looking at myself. I'm looking at myself right now. I need to be looking at the camera. I'm a total noob. Do people still say noob on the internet? What I love about my wife's baking is that she always like cuts the sugar uh, like in half or cuts it out even more. Um, so you're tasting flavors outside of just sweetness. And that's how this uh, pumpkin bread is. She cut uh, a lot of the sugar out. And it is so good. It's very good. And it makes it perfect for chili. Maybe sweet pumpkin bread would be good for chili too. But this is especially good. The good thing about starting with the bread is it soaked up a lot of that liquid. And remember earlier, I talked about how it was in very thick soup at this point because we had eaten so much of it uh, yesterday and this morning, or for lunch. But since I'm soaking it all up with this bread, I now have a nice, thick, hearty chili. Hi, kitty. I think I'm gonna call it a night, settled down after that chili uh, with some Downton Abbey. Um, Bates, his wife, was just found dead. So we'll see how that happened, I'm sure, very soon down the road. I think there are three episodes left in season two. Um, good season, excited to see how everything pans out. Also, um, last night we watched Michonne's last episode on Walking Dead. I think she'll probably be back um, down the road or maybe get her own movie or something like that, but I'm not really sure how I felt about it because it was very much a character study piece, you know, and I think they were trying to give her some heavy acting material for her last episode, but it was so focused on her to where she wasn't really around other characters from the show. So it was just her and then some people who are just sort of, um, I don't know, like, I mean, not, they weren't extras, they had lines and stuff, but they weren't people we're familiar with. So we didn't get to really see her with the group. And I think that would have made for a much more emotional ending. But again, I can totally see her coming back um, down the road, you know, a couple seasons down the road, or maybe get her own movie. I hear Rick might get his own movie, or is getting his own movie, and she definitely deserves one. We'll see what happens. Uh, sad to see her go. One of my favorite characters, by far.